This guy was just exonerated of all the charges related to an incident back in 2019 where he was driving a truck in rural New Hampshire and collided with a motorcycle club, killing seven. Initial reports said he was high on heroin, cocaine, fentanyl, and was driving on a suspended license when he crossed over the dividing line and smashed into the motorcycles. So a reasonable person might ask, uh, how the fuck do you get acquitted of that? Breaking news is often filled with inaccuracies because it comes from a game of telephone where some low-level reporter at a dying local news station hears about it over the police scanner, calls an operator who just regurgitates whatever the first cop on the scene says happened. Almost none of these initial facts held up in court. His license wasn't officially suspended because the state fucked up the paperwork. Toxicology report couldn't confirm he was high at the time of the incident, and there was conflicting reports about who went over the center line. My conclusion is that the people who investigated this incident for reasons of laziness, incompetence, or bias didn't do a great job, which left room for a reasonable doubt to avoid conviction. R.I.P.